This is how the Swiss got rid of hundreds of immigrants by deliberately suiciding them with code O2T in especially developed Swiss torture detention centers. Maybe they even had thousands disappear this way. The Swiss are very secretive about it. There are people that can keep secrets very well while smiling to the world and misleading humanity about their real intentions. Khaled Abu Zariva, Palestinian, murdered by the Swiss authorities through code O2T on March 3rd, 1999. Samson Chukwu, Nigerian, murdered by the Swiss authorities through code O2T on May 1st, 2001. Abdi Daoud, Somalian, March 23, 2008. Murdered by the Swiss authorities through code O2T in a Swiss torture detention center. I went to his funeral in Zurich. Joseph Ndukaku Chiakwa, Nigerian. Murdered by the Swiss authorities through code O2T in a Swiss torture detention center on March 17, 2010. Wolfgang Umfogel, Austrian, uh, murdered in a Swiss, murdered by the Swiss authorities through code O2T in a Swiss torture detention center on September the 29th, 2010. Uh, Wolfgang Umfogel, he wanted to sell or give the U.S. and Germany um, uh, banking CDs on tax evasion havens and Switzerland. Criminal banksters, you see. So the Swiss um, secret service, they um, they snatched him and in only two weeks time they suicided him through code O2T. They tortured him in the torture detention center of Amthaus Bern where the maker of this video got tortured as well during five months and his hair turned grey in five months time only he knew that you use a, a human the human organism uses less oxygen if you sleep so that's what the maker of the vid did dead Getschai Albanian murdered by the Swiss authorities in a Swiss torture detention center through code O2T on November 19th, 2010. Here with his daughter. His daughter got raped by a Swiss pedophile teacher, so Mr. Getschai went to the police, who told him that foreigners shouldn't go to the Swiss police. Then he got his gun and solved the problem himself by putting some 9mm slugs into the Swiss pedophile. Then he escaped to Albania and the Swiss pulled all diplomatic strings for over 10 years to get him back. Only so the Swiss vendetta could murder him. In order to eradicate all evidence, the Swiss officially kidnapped his daughter, Bezarta, already in 1991 and had Bezarta disappear forever. I went to his funeral where his son told me that he couldn't breathe his father just before he got suicided.